let's listen to Kevin weigh in. It's so good. It's so good. You watch Kevin Brennan's show. Uh, it was so funny because uh, when I went to Marlowe's interest yesterday, uh, somehow I knew who my name was going to come up. And oh, somehow I'm not a knew. narcissist or whatever, allegedly, but uh, I somehow I knew my name was going to come up. I'm not in mention of the thing. But anyway, this is Gino, I guess, driving to I Nova guess. Scotia to hang out with Frank and McDonald. So they have off this week or he's doing his shows from there. Do they move the studios up there? Oh, what's happening? So uh, this is Gino and that Carl guy. This guy is the house MC at uh, the Comedy Cove in Springfield, New Jersey. Not a great club. Not a, not a famous club. Infamous. There's really, I never even heard about it until some of the shitty uh, comics from um, Compound Media started working there. Chrissy okay. and well, Gino. So then I worked there once with Levy. I don't know if I was scheduled or Levy just booked it. He told me to come by, so that I did that. So anyway, this guy's a this guy does a lot of puns. This car guy, he's the driver. And so they're I guess they're going up. I don't know anything about this. I guess they're going up to Nova Scotia to hang with with Frankie McDonald. Where it, I mean, it's incredible. So anyway, Gino's talking about how his show is still great. Yeah, it is. How Compound Media is still great because they have the it studio. Is. Not for long. How they, It's still great. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Anyway, just so you're caught up. Oh, I, it's, it's entertaining. I'm not going to lie to you if you're into that. But it's just fucking show. I, it's, it's entertaining. I'm not going to fucking up. Uh, fucking uh, whatever. Whatever Amy is like, I'd love to come in. It's so good. It's so good. You watch Kevin Brennan's show, and it's it's entertaining. I'm not going to lie to you if you're into that, but it's just fucking... If you're into that. People, like, talking. People talking? That's that's every show. People talking? Each other and, and, and fucking paying down Kevin Brennan read it, and let me tell you. Thank you, you uh, Kevin Brennan, but that not is see. not fucking the Letterman I grew up watching. That is not Carson. That is not in Stern. It's and Gino is? Yeah. Gino show is is Howard Stern or or Johnny Carson or or David Letterman? Nope. Or you just get drunk? Nope. I didn't say my show was any of those things. I said my show was based on me loving them. Your show is garbage now, Kevin. It's garbage. Watch. And if you don't understand that Kevin realizes, how did I wind up here? Watch what happens. And have losers like Jim Stansel on? Yeah. And then you cut to Frankie McDonald on a daily basis. That, but that's that's uh, my fucking friend Frankie McDonald. Never have I felt it is such a fucking honor. It is such a gift. It is such a blessing to be able to feel the way I feel when I say, "Watch this, my friend Frankie McDonald." That's my friend Frankie McDonald. That's my goddamn friend. And fucking me and Carl said it immediately when we were driving back watching Tuesday's show. Frank, excuse me, month, it's Tuesday show. Frankie's three-dimensional now. Frankie isn't a guy that's like, oh, this is one of the shows I call into. The In Hot Water is my show. This is my show. I'm a member of this show. We're, we're blessed to have put in the work to fucking make sure he knows how important he is to us. Watch this fucking loser. Letterman-esque? That's Carson quality? It's influence. It's not Opie and Anthony. That is not what they did. Opie and Anthony? Say something. And I still like this. I still like showing up every day with Garrett and Steve and fucking Carl when he's there and Chrissy when she pops. Garrett and Steve. Yeah, it ain't it ain't lasting. And Chrissy and Carl when he's there. And who else? You forgot Jim Stansel. What's it like using all your energy rather than to enjoy what you're doing to fucking focus it on hoping what other people are doing fails? Say what you want, but... I don't even fucking like wish failure. I mean, I guess I do, but it's like on fucking people like fucking Colbert and Kimmel. I shit on them and I try to expose them, but I don't even waste my energy hoping they fail because there will always be a market for kiss ass uh, sock cuckers as a uh, as, uh, fucking chip chippers would say. But watch this guy. What He's screaming at two guys that are just fucking patting themselves on the back from going to meet a man that changed their lives. 
a guy who's not even a comic who's like thinks he's a made man now because he works at a comedy club in Connecticut? Without a uh, doubt, Michelle Dago. And creating funny fucking content. Where? Where is it? Where is the funny content that we're missing? Put it on YouTube so we can see. We can get a taste. Give us a free taste. It is. It's on YouTube. Jake, what do you think? I did. Here's my point. Gino was just saying about how my, how my show is super chats. I do you're into that, but it's just fucking people like talking to each other and, and, and fucking paying down Kevin Brennan Rita. And let me tell you, to give Kevin Brennan, but that is not fucking the Letterman I grew up watching. That is not Carson. That is not Nick Stern. It's not Obi and Anthony. That is nervous. not what they did. Look and I still like this. I still like knows him right. Where? Where is it? Watch the nervous drinking, which is, you know, because we learned it from Ray before Ray got his shit together, got away from this abuser. Watch how he fucking, I'm like, I'm like, this is not what you came here for. And he's like, oh, watch, watch how he knows I'm right. Where is the funny content that we're missing? Put it on YouTube so we can see, we can get a taste. Give it Thanks for leaving this up, Kevin, because you don't know what the fuck you're doing without Adam, other than watching your show go to the shitter. <laughs> Gino's shitting on my show, I guess, allegedly. Yeah. And then he's yep. reading the free chat while he's driving. Let me know when I do that, Gino. I like Thanks for I'll tell you what he'll never do, Keanu. He'll never read the free chat. Remember about five months ago when he said I don't read the two dollar chats, Keanu? I, I do recall that. It's weird, because what is this chat I'm looking at right now? It's so odd. It's so odd. It's so odd. You'll never read the free chat. I don't know. You got Stevie Stevie Views as your mod. Watch this. Look, everybody's like, and again, the whole point of this, remember, he only watched half of this My Lost Interest clip. Obviously. And let me tell you, I, I, I hope to God that's a lie and we know it's a lie. Make sure you watch every second of every My Lost Interest clip. He does all the heavy lifting. I got to start super chatting the My Lost Interest clips. That's what I got to start doing. I'll do that after this. Brennan, Brennan's going to super chat. That's what you, uh, we, we have Brennan's show, Gina, I'm in a studio. I'm like Johnny Carson. I'm like Johnny Carson. We sit there, we get hammered. And then he's reading these poor, poor while he's driving to Nova Scotia to see a mentally challenged man. That's his life. Did Johnny Carson ever do that? No, I feel bad I forget, for him. Did David Letterman do a road trip? Yeah. To, to go to Canada to see a mentally challenged fella? Do you not see him reaching? Oh, come on, everybody. Yeah. It's insane, but he's like, yeah, he's like, that's a good sucker. Watch it. All right. Oh, wow. Uh, what do you mean? I and I sent the picture to fucking melt. I can't. I didn't watch that part, so I didn't bet that. So I don't know what that is. Without a doubt, Captain Miz. I'll watch that later. I just I just saw him. I, I was watching it. My lost interest. Shout out to my lost interest. All right, now watch. Oh my god. Uh, I mean and then I was like, I knew I knew somehow I to see a mentally challenged man. That's his life. Now watch. Because I'm going to show you the rest of this clip. I'm going to show you that for some reason, while we're talking, anyone that watches a clip, anyone that watches a clip, am I wrong? And I know I'm not. Like, you're going to keep watching to see if you come back up. You're not going to be like, all right, they stopped talking about me right here. I predicted it. He watched this whole clip and he knows it. And I'm going to show you the rest of this My Lost Interest clip. But watch what he says when he gets out. That's all I watched. He stopped it right here. Watch. Did Johnny Carson ever do that? Listen to him. I forget. Did David Letterman do a road trip to to go to Canada to see a mentally challenged fella? Oh, come on, everybody! Here we go. Yeah, it's insane. But he's like, yeah, he's like, that's just gonna suck a bunch of. All right. Oh wow. Well. Uh, what do you mean? I see again, guys. And I sent the picture to fucking melt. I can't. I didn't watch that part, so I didn't bet that. So, do you understand? No, no. Mm, can we show that? I don't think so. Okay, it's it's just a picture of the bean guys. Um, so like he heard me say Melton, and that's when he's he knew to stop. Did you see that Melton? He's like, 
like he literally on a dime is like, let's, if only we could watch the rest of this clip. If only. Let's see. Hold on. Kevin didn't watch this, he wants you to believe. He did. Watch. And I sent the picture to fucking Melton, but he doesn't talk about it. I just keep telling Melton, I'm like, hey, Melton, you know, on uh, April 5th, I'm terrified because the, uh, the, uh, the order of protection that I begged it's for, fire. that I just sat there clutching in court. Oh, I would love to fucking be in the same room as fucking Pat. Okay, and I just want to clear something up. Like, it's a pussy, and I am, but I'm saying. Okay, let's talk about the definition of sucker punch. If you're looking straight at a person and they hit you, that can still be a sucker punch. If it's completely unexpected, you're the sucker punch. We know that, yeah. No, but a lot of people don't know that. Everyone, like, mm, sucker punch everyone sucker knows punch. what it is. If you square up, you either... Kevin watched this and had to realize he really did sucker punch him. I knew it the whole time, but I was willing to ignore it because, you know, fucking... Pat Dixon fucking is one of those lightning rods that, like, if you hate Gino, could you imagine? A lot of people monetized Pat Dixon fucking hating me, but Pat Dixon fucking, Brennan said it the other day, he's got no fucking money. My God, he's making money now, and it's almost like you did your fucking due diligence, and you waited to make sure that you could prove someone was making money so you could fucking take it from them to pay the bills that you paid as a goddamn man. And every dummy that fucking he that, that that convinced him, I am a cowboy. I am. Fucking Gino should have punched me back. Everything he believed must be nice to believe that because he's about to be fucking served with a dose of reality. That I guess you can't hit three women and get so used to getting away with it that you hit a dude and convince yourself that it's okay. And Kevin knows all this, but he didn't watch two more minutes of the amazing clipper that is my lost interest. Square up with someone or you don't. You either walk up to someone and like if Pat Dixon had walked up to me and, and stopped right there and been like, Mom, hey, let's go. Hey, then I'm fucking, uh, I'm on my heels. But when I go to hug a guy and he walks in smiling, he's yes. a fucking piece of shit that I am not done with. I'm not done I with love him. Love it. Your arms were out wide. Shout out to my lost interest for doing that I am not done with. I'm such a tough guy. And if you don't get the admission of guilt when he said, Keanu, I just stopped watching here. Literally the second I stopped talking and mentioned Melton, who he hates Keanu, but he didn't watch Melton. He didn't watch me. He turned it. No, he didn't. He watched it. And Kevin Brennan, make sure you clip this. Kevin, you know what you did. You know what's going on. You know where you wound up. And that's the hand you played. That's the hand you played. Okay? But a time of reckoning is coming for everyone. And can you imagine being Pat Dixon that now suddenly is like, all right, this is where I am. I've accepted it. Yeah. You're, a, yeah. you're about to lose what little money you made. And you made that money just for being a piece of shit. So keep drinking your Red Bull, Pat. Keep drinking your Red Bull. Keep doing your Adderall. Keep thinking you're smarter than everyone else when you're a sad fucking cousin fucking mommy diddled loser. Massage. Massage. Well, that goes without saying. And again, Pat Dixon hit three women. And if he wants to call me a liar, I'd love to parade them out under fucking oath to ruin what little fucking comedy career he has left. And he knows, and this is the other thing, to watch him cry like a cunt the other night, knowing he should have never agreed to do this show because he needed every penny from Kevin Brennan. And Kevin Brennan paid most of his legal bills because he's a kept fucking cunt. What do you think? What do you think's worse? Having what do you think? Who do you think feels better about themselves? A guy that fucking had no money, ran like a bitch, got caught anyway, and had to beg a man to pay his legal bills, or a man who got sucker punched, paid for his own fucking jaw, and said, Let me let this sit so I can get all that money from him over the course of his, the rest of his sad, miserable fucking life. 